And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower! Today we're talking about the Truckers. It's a Japanese game in which each player has a truck, go figure, and you move around a board. Uh, but you don't move by rolling dice like you do in most children's games. Instead, you're playing cards. In fact, while I would think this is a family game, it's not necessarily a children's game. Let's look at it and see what you think of it. In this game, each player has a truck that they're going to be moving around this track here. And they'll take a bunch of cards that match that truck. These cards show numbers on them from 1 through 6 and one that shows a loading box. On a player's turn, each player who's involved in the game will place one of their cards in the middle of the table. And after everyone has placed one of those cards there, they'll turn all the cards face up. So, you see here the yellow truck moved 5, the blue truck moves 3, and the green truck moves 1. So the yellow truck 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the blue truck goes 3, and the green truck goes 1. Each of these trucks takes the top card of the, of the pile that they're on, and they keep that in basically their hand. Some of the tiles you can see are double tiles, some of them, like this one, are wild tiles. If two trucks land in the same spot for whatever reason, let's say the blue truck lands here, trucks go in, in turn order from the, the first truck goes and then the second one and third one. If two trucks are on the same one, only the top player gets the card. You're allowed to trade cards with other players if you want to uh, on your turn. Other than that though, if you play one of these loading icons, instead of taking ones, you instead are going to load goods in your truck. Now each player starts with two trucks here and every time you pass this space here you can get more trucks. When you take a truck you may take any items that you have gotten thus far and flip them over and add them to the truck. If each, you play the box. Right. Each player can only put one kind of good on each truck so that since I put vegetables in this truck this truck must be vegetables this one must be t-shirts and only three t-shirts will fit in this one so if I add the double t-shirts here this truck is finished and now it's three t-shirts in it. And that's basically the way the game works. You keep going around until one player has gone around three times, at which point the game is over. Players will then score points for the goods that they've loaded on their truck. You get the most points if you're the only person to have gotten that type of goods. You, spots can be empty. At and you get extra points if you are the person who has the most of that type. And you lose points. I mean, I'm sorry, you also get bonus points if you have a fully loaded truck, like for example both these trucks here are fully loaded and you get you lose points for trucks that you have not put anything on and for any card that you've kept in your hand and haven't loaded on a truck you'll lose points for that. Uh, also if you're a full lap behind everybody else because as the game progresses you might say well if I go really slowly I will get more packages than other people. True. But if they lap you and finish first you'll lose a point for every space that you are behind the finish line. Uh, for, for in the second or third lap. That would be a really bad spot. To right. Play. Well, if you haven't, yeah, if you've been lapped. So they keep people from moving too slowly. When you play one of these cards, you can't play it again until either you've played all your number cards or until you've played your loading card, at which point you get all your cards back into your hand and you can start playing them again. As you can see, the artwork is pretty funny, humorous. It's a very simple, easy game. The Trucker's Bear is a very close resemblance to a game called Basari. I think I actually have it right here behind me on the shelf. Um, Basari, a game by Out of the Box Publishing, does a very similar thing, although you're rolling dice and moving things. Uh, collecting gems. It has a similar feel to that, so there's nothing really new and groundbreaking here. In fact, while I like the art and I like how you flip the cards over and they became the truck, I think the idea is good. I think the game plays smoothly, quickly. Trading is almost non-existent. You can do it, but there's usually no real point to doing it unless you happen to have something they really want and they have something you want, but if you really wanted it, why didn't you just get it to begin with? Um, so there's, there's some of that involved, but overall I found it just basically mediocre. What did you think? I really liked the game mostly because the back of all the tiles about like the truck thing, and it's a fun game of how you lap around the track and trying to collect items. 
I think it might be a game that's basically more for children than it is for adults because it's just it's it's too light I think without that huge fun factor that comes with it but kids will get a kick out of adding the goods to their trucks. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio and video reviews as well as the number 1 board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.